What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today we're on the live stream with another account. This time, it is a whale account. We got a VIP 13. This is Things account on iOS. I actually don't know if he sent over what server number it was, did he? He's iOS 56 for those of you that are wondering. So, he had taken a break probably close to the beginning of the year. He came back. But you know how easy it is to transition for whales. So this is what the account looks like. There's no Drake. Oh, wait, there is a Drake. Oh, I didn't even see the Drake when I first looked. So there's Drake and a Russell. I was going to say, you know, we got one of them, not the other Bill. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? All right, all right. So let's take a look at the heroes. We have a crown already. Terra's with no gear. Kind of appropriate right now. Terra's are just very subpar. Very subpar right now. We have a regular wildfire torch, magic stone sword. We got a glittery cog. Ooh, I like the Augustus magic ball. We got quite a few Ormus artifacts. You know, overall, um, I kind of thought Demon Bell would be pretty cool having a bunch of them on a bunch of different heroes, but not sure I exactly like it just yet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, runes power. We got a glittery punisher. A glit we got like glittery of everything. Perfect artifact for Ignis, glittery Rui Scepter, and a regular. Good job not upgrading it, because let's be honest, a Sherlock without a Rui Scepter doesn't really do much for you. I know if, if you're like free to play or early game and you built a Sherlock, it's fine, it's fine, but you need it if you're talking about end game. Ooh, lucky candy bar. Do you have two of those? That would be amazing for Aspen Dungeon. Man, you even got some look <laughs> look at look at the pay to win artifact i love i love this so good oh my goodness we have more artifacts there do we have more in the bag we do have more in the bag oh my goodness this is amazing so all right let's let's start out let's see are we on the leaderboard here what's what's the name of this count this thing where are you on this leaderboard thing Ooh, thing you should be at death 50 easy with an account like this okay so you're not even top 50 so first things first an account like this can make so much progress in aspen dungeon few things honestly you know what june are you in chat right now can you add this man to your ios aspen dungeon runs this man could use it because he has everything he needs to get there like everything and even further granted the artifacts aren't fully upgraded overall i think you only had yeah like a, a radiant amb but it's still good it's still good um russell with an amb is amazing upgrade this crown next time and throw it on an ada for your run it's gonna be great upgrade your candy bar so one thing that a lot of people don't really know if they're not watching streams like June's is lucky candy bar upgraded is very good very good why because it handles the oberon waves that are so so difficult in aspen dungeon um i mean you have russell you got ada you have sherlock you got a carry and maybe even a drake or just run two sherlocks i mean this account should be able to get to death 50 pretty easy and get you set up to try to push to death 100 for the void as far as PvP goes, this is a really, really solid account. Ignis is... A lot of people, I don't think, realize how good Ignis is. She's really strong in Crystal Crown League. But she is insanely strong in Trial of the Champion. At least from what I've seen, I know GDP is absolutely in love with his Ignis as well. Um, Probably need to talk about PvP the most right here. Probably do. As far as catching up, you've kind of already done it. Besides spending money for Void Shia, you're on the right path. You don't necessarily need to build ticks, and it doesn't look like you have the scrolls to do anyway, or did you? Oh, wait, that's right. You did one loop on this one. You got one ticks. You got another ticks in here. Yep, you got a ticks in here. So, I mean... 
got 20 done here. You got 20 done there. So you got the two important level 20s done. But in the void, you're going to want to make sure you can try to push other sea lands up. Uh, fortress? Or I mean, forest? I feel like you should have already had it done, really. Good lord. Where's, what's your forest at? 18? Ooh. Should definitely be able to do this. I feel like you should be able to do this pretty simply, honestly. Let's just let's give it a quick try. Like, this, this should be... I mean, granted, we have, like, PvP enables on and everything right now with the Garudas, but... I mean, it has potential. Come on, Oberons, get some seeds going. Probably not gonna get any seeds going, huh? Nope, no seeds. But Rogan's gonna tank some hits. Oh, man. So long for these animations. I mean, let's be honest... What you have can do Sea Land 20 and Forest if you want to get it done. You just got to get the hero set up properly. Run them offensive. Put a crown on the Rogan in slot one. Uh, probably use like the HP block. Go full on tankiness. It can work really, really good. So as far as Forest Sea Land, you should be able to push it every day if you want to. Uh, Abyss and everything else, you're not really going to get there. Fortress, the Sherlocks are, yeah, they're, the Sherlocks just really aren't going to cut it. They keep swapping, but then their damage just drops off completely. Yeah, throw energy on those Oberons as well, and you'll have a decent chance for some CC. Olivia is a decent hero right now. Would I build her? Probably not. What I would prioritize if you were, but you don't really have relics anyway, and you don't have copies... How many profit orbs? 249. So you need to make the decision. Do you want to build and try to build a second Rogan up right now? Because right now, Rogan is one of the most important heroes in PvP to date. Mainly due to his speed the first couple rounds, and then after the speed, giving those attack and crit bonuses. So a lot of people are actually starting to throw two Rogans in their lineups because the faster Russell wins, pretty much. Um, besides that, Russell, if you did really want to push, you might want to invest in a second Russell down the road, but you're in a spot where you can't really afford to. You need to go back into saving mode or, you know, slowly wail on the bigger events as well. But overall, I mean, you're in a really good spot. You have good setups on the good majority of your heroes. Russell with a crown is the I, I like A and B on Russell better. Who did you have A and B on, by the way? Carry. Carry A and B can be good to counter the other Russells. Well, I don't hate it. I don't actually mind it. What are you running in your PvP lineup right now on defense? So, Sherlock, Sherlock, Carry. Hmm, interesting. That is interesting. I would actually be tempted to drop one of the Sherlocks for a Rogan right now. I think I'd drop the weaker of the two Sherlocks and try using Rogan instead. Rogan is just ridiculously powerful in the PvP meta right now. Like, extremely strong. It looks like you're not really pushing. Oh my goodness, you have 2,200 tickets that's crazy but you'll notice like the the common trend is everybody in the top teams well majority are running rogan so definitely consider using the rogan i mean if it was me i would probably uh let me look at your sherlock's real quick honestly if it was me next event i would upgrade the Rui, drop off this sherlock for now let me look at the I mean, that's, that's, that's fine on him. I would be tempted to, uh, to change the lineup to something like this. I would lock that in right there. Yeah, I would lock that in. That's that's really, really solid lineup. I actually really like that. So that's really strong. That is very, very strong. Um... As far as Trial of Champion, you should rank pretty high with your account. As far as Trial of the Champion, I would 
I would probably build, I mean, I'm not going to save this team, but for example, your first lineup in Trial of Champion should probably look something along the lines of like, uh, like this. Or even this. Trial of Champion is a different, different type of animal. Um, actually, no, no, I, I would run this. This is what I would run in Trial of Champion for your first lineup. And then I would fill in with the uh, the Russell, the Drake, the Amon Ra. No, not the Amon Ra. I would have your second lineup filling in with Russell, Drake, Ignis, Sherlock, and maybe a second Garuda. That would probably be pretty solid there. And then Interdimensional Arena. I mean, you you need to push. You need to push some IDA, man. You have an account and you have the tickets that you could probably be in the top 18. Or top 8, I mean. Not 18. You'd definitely be in top 32. You'd most likely be in top 8 as well. But yeah, you, you, you definitely... You definitely can make good work of this account in IDA. And you have the tickets for it. You definitely have the tickets. You can push it every day. Keep getting up higher and higher. Should be pretty good. But yeah, I mean, you got food sitting there. Again, the biggest thing for your account is save these resources. You only have 300 million spirit right now. That's barely going to cover one of your heroes at E5 to bring them from 330 to 345. So first and foremost, as I've been saying on every single account, save 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 for someone like you who has high gem purchases available through my hand of midas i would most likely be buying this spirit every single day i'd be buying both of these spirits every day and i would be buying out every single spirit offer in here as well and then beyond that i mean save 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 and then level all your heroes up in the meantime don't build any more e5s Literally every resource goes to remaxing every one of the heroes you care about. That is going to be the most important. Yes, this is pretty much a flex account tune up, but this is absolutely amazing. A lot of people probably can't relate to this, but yes, sometimes you need advice even in the late end game. So hopefully this helped you out thing. Let me know if you need any other questions answered, anything else. Hopefully it gives you a good path to move forward in PVP. See you guys next time. Okay.